Hi everybody, thanks for watching Game Nights with Dem and Jegzy. Today is Throwback Thursday, we're doing Cold Step Saga. So Cold Step Saga, the Cold Step series, it's like smashing Magic the Gathering and Monopoly together. It's pretty... I like it a lot, it's pretty awesome. So the TG is total gold, G is gold, that's how much I have on hand. So we're both tied for first. The S is, how, is the south tower. We need to touch all towers before we can go back to the castle, and each tower gives us a certain amount of more gold, and the tower gives us more gold based on what we've done out on the field. Um, this is the first map, so there's only one tower up to four. And then just a, it's a little loop around. And then you can see the four basic colors once we start. Let's go. Mist Wing Creature. So you're, you get a deck of 50. You can customize it the further you go, the better you, things you get. Um, I don't have any spells or weapons in my in this deck, so if you know what I'm going for, I'm pretty easy to block and make lose. Wrong way. So just no nothing to cast, I'm just gonna roll my dime. Three! And I have blue cards, so I'm gonna go to the blue. So here's like where it's like Monopoly. I have this area that I can pay for. So I can, if anybody else lands on it, they get charged rent. I'm on blue, so it'd be best to put a blue creature on. This one here has high hit points, so it's a pretty good guardian. And since it's defensive, I can't use it to attack or invade anyways. So it's going to cost me 40 gold to put this guy out. She's the first computer you fight, I do believe, through story. Story is not amazing, but... Yeah. It's the only way you can get some cards. He's pretty awesome, Wall. During battle, he gets an extra 30 hit points on top. Oh, so then if you match the appropriate colors, the appropriate color monster to the appropriate color land, they get a bonus. This is level 1 blue land, so the land effect is plus 10 to his hit points. So then if somebody were to fight me, it'd be 10 strength with 60 hit points going against whatever they have. Just like this one is a blue creature as well. So they will also have 20 or 10 more hit points. So 20 strength, 40 hit points, and then uh, max hit points if it's 30 or under, it they're just neutralized. So that's and I only have a blue deck, so I could put creatures on here, but they won't get the additional defense because they don't match. as you will see. So far I only have defense people in my party. Let's put down the swamp spawn. You stopped Give me 20 gold! It's see, she just time. paid me my 20. That was my rent. Like Monopoly, she gave me 20 bucks. And if I can put more on the same color, I'll get a chain so it goes up. And once I have a chance, I could level up the land, I think up to max 5. There's my little checkpoint gold. Just because he's cheap, I'll put this wing out. Okay, yeah, it's pretty gold. And this is one of the keys to this blue deck. For 80 gold, after I can activate him, I can transform any land that's occupied into a blue. Or any of my lands that I have occupied into a blue land. Very handy. But I can't put him out yet, because he says he wants... Let's see, 60 gold plus somebody on blue. I have somebody on blue. Oh, but he can't be on red. It'll evaporate his water, so he can't be there. Let me just put this guy down then. Try to get as much territory as I possibly can. Discard a card. And since she's one of the first computers you go against, she doesn't, I don't think, play to the best of her abilities, but she still works out. He's pretty good if you have a whole bunch of people down. 
Unfortunately, the boost also helps enemies. So if I put him down, everybody gets a 20, or adds 20 hit points to their defense. Well, all right. Nothing I can do here. Discard a card. Word of recall. So the, you can customize your decks any way you want. I think she's got a two-color deck. Look at you, full of spells and weapons. You received a reward. You can also customize your characters. She's a default computer. You can't customize her. But because I've been playing, I'm all decked out in white and yellows. My bonus cash for making it to the castle. Basic bonus just for touching the castle, I get 200 bucks or 200 gold. Um, territory bonus because I have creatures out. I get an additional 80, so there's my total down there. If any of my creatures were hurt out on the field, they'd recover 20%. Symbols is like, not on this map, you can't do it, but it's like the stock market. You can purchase different symbols depending on how many creatures are on it and how, what level those uh, color lands are, the more expensive those stocks are to purchase. And you can sell whenever you get back to the stock area. Buy low. Upgrade like for me, I just I buy a lot of blue, and then I will upgrade and put creatures all on blue and expand the blue territories. So then my symbol bonus for blue will skyrocket, and unless and only the person who has the most stock in that color gets the bonus for that color. So enemy territory. other people can beat me up if they have more blue than I do. So this one's got 40 defense with 20 attack. Since I'm attacking, I get first strike unless she uses something. As long as my creature has max hit points over 30, it'll be okay. Take this one. There's 40. I don't have anybody I can fight with. It'd just be a waste of money, even though I can knock them down, but then they'd heal every time she gets to the castle a little bit. I'll just pay 20 bucks. Silence. And she used her spell, so now I can't cast any creatures for the next two turns. Very unfortunate, especially since I'm in my blue area. It's your turn. Discard a card. This guy here is defensive 40, strength 20. He's defensive only, so he can't invade. In battle, abilities can't be used or effects. So. He'd be good if I wanted to attack somebody, but he's defensive, so he'd be a really good wall, I guess. But I feel I have better walls. Oh, waste of that. Can't cast because of the spell she has on me. I have one more turn of that. Brings me three bucks. Discard a card. He's good because reds and green creatures can't hurt him. He also can't use any armors or scrolls. Uh, armors help your defense, and scrolls help your attack, depending on what they are. Um, get rid of this guy. No special abilities, just a little bit stronger in defense. So then, I can't do anything anyways, but I can spend 50 bucks on him to make her roll zero on her next turn but then I'd only gain 20, so it's not worth it. I'm not going to go for it. I can't, I'm probably can move him, though. Nope, he doesn't move. How unfortunate. I could change his, the terrain that he's on into a blue. I could have swapped creep. No, I couldn't swap creatures because of the spell I have. Now she's making me hit... Only twice as strong as I can, or, um, for the castle. twice as weak, rather. So if I were to punch with a, a 30 turn. attack, it'd only be a 15, Discard a card. which makes it really hard to Rain invade. The castle. What's up, buddy? In your own territory. Let's see. Let's swap him out for that guy. Start making more blues. It's 
It's your turn. Discard a card. He's strong defensively, but he's also really expensive, and I'm still struggling just to get on the board. You've stopped in enemy oh, territory. Hello. So she is a 30-40. I don't remember what card she has, but this guy here is a 50-50 on a land he's not even really supposed to be on. So how about we'll just make him do the work for me. I don't have to spend any money to make anybody else come out. Just make him do the dirty work. Versus Lady. Prepare for battle. And then if you're playing, it's up to four player, online, offline. And all these cards, if I had weaponry or defenses or any items or anything like that, they would be um, associated to each button on my controller. So I can stay over here. I don't have to worry about people. I don't have to say, hey, people, stop looking at my screen. I want to choose a card. Nope. If it's a spear with the, the Y button, I just press Y and it will go for it. And then make it their turn, like right there in the armor, press Y. She can use her armor. Oh, I forgot I'm half as strong. The was a draw. So it's a draw. I still spend my 20 gold, but she's weaker, and I have a chance to take her out. But now she just got healed by 20%. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. You stopped in oh, enemy territory. Doesn't matter now. Case six. First God, I was weaker. Brenda. Prepare for battle. Some items in my hand, or spells for that matter. The offense vanquished the Pretty enemy. bad start. Now she has a chain it's of two reds. So now her that went up a little bit. Discard a card. And not doing good. A reward. Good luck on your next. You stopped in your own. So now I can level up my land, make it more expensive if she lands on it. So now it's at 160 bucks. If you land on the tower or on a castle, then you can. You can use your territory ability on everything out here. And so you can't activate anybody's, you can't swap out monsters, make them move, or uh, use their territory ability unless you land on them, walk past them, or land on the castle or towers um, on your turn. There's spells that help with that too. Penetrates in battle strength equals the number of users, blue territories. So right now, I only have one guy in the blue territory, so he's a penetrate of 10. Uh, what penetrate does, so this guy here, he has 50 hit points plus 30 defense for his land. Penetrate would overlook the land effect. It'll just be 50, 50 hit points. So he will actually be pretty good. Pretty good. Let me swap this one out, I think. Just kind of denying me, passing it up a lot, and I can't make the move. Next time, though, if I walk past, I can make the Hydra hop onto the blue. Sinking song. So now I'm weak again. It's your turn. Nice. Discard a card. A nice defensive ball I'm gonna get rid of. Attacks first, even if he's on defense. If he uses any scrolls, it's a critical hit, which means um, whatever the scroll amount uh, times uh, 1.5. So if he attacks with a scroll of 30, then it's gonna be a 45 attack. To move to any opponent owned yellow land in the area. So if I had a creature here, for example, she can use his ability and move it right there. Usually a move is only one spot. Aim for the castle. You've stopped in All your right. own territory. So blue, I'm gonna move him on blue eventually. 
but I can use his ability and make this a blue right here. Now I have a chain. My rent went up a little bit. If I had stocks in it, symbols, they would go up in price. In enemy territory. Versus she doesn't always attack wall. smart, but I don't know what she's doing right now either. Prepare for battle. So this creature had support, meaning she can use any other creature as a weapon as well to add hit points and defense. I mean attack and defense, but she didn't do either. Works for me. So she wasted money summoning this guy. I got money for his ability, for how much she attacked him for. I'm gonna get more money because she lost and she landed on him. It's your turn. Discard a card. So defense, battle end. User gains damage received times five gold magic. So she attacked, everything that fell off became my money, and since I have plus 30 in extra defense, she didn't even chip away at his health. So I'm fine with that. Red land, huh? And you are a blue creature. So this one, I can't put on green. It costs 160 gold, plus two of my creatures being on blue, and a sacrifice. It neutralizes creatures with uh, max hit points of 50 or more, but it also gives a 10 hit point boost to all blue and yellow creatures. I would put him down, but this guy's gonna cause me problems and he's a yellow creature. So we're just gonna put you down. He was just cheap and I'm trying to get as much land as possible. It's usually what I do in the Monopoly as well, just purchase everything as much as possible, but that's usually why I never win in Monopoly. What's up, buddy? Don't kill my guys! So before you use any weapons or items or anything, it gives you an estimate on what the computer thinks how well you'll do. So she gets a plus 10 attack because her ally is sitting next to the score we're fighting in. I don't have an ally sitting next to us, so I don't get that plus 10. I don't have... I'm not on the right color, so I don't get any additional hit points either. So right off the bat, she's gonna win. She's not green or red, can't neutralize her. Wah, wah, wah. The offense vanquished the enemy. Tons of cards in this game. I haven't collected them all. It's your I've turn. tried, but you only get cards for completing battles. And though I've completed a lot, it's random. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. Oh well, here we go. We'll put you here. Rent goes up a little bit because I have a chain of three. Permission. So when we were selling video games back in GameStop when we I first met them, this game kept popping in. And I always looked at it, I always wanted to check it out, I always wanted to try it, but every time I finally wanted to, so he used his creature's ability to increase his uh, defense by 10, making it even harder for me. This is a pretty good monster. Attacks first, neutralizes blue, and in battle it performs a scroll attack. Scroll attacks don't worry about the extra defense you get from color or being on the same colored land and performs a base strength value if not equipped with an item. Um, so a scroll attack of 50. So 50 straight shot, penetrating. Pretty nice. That's why he's expensive. But what I was saying, um, it all kept coming in. You stop, oh, buddy. In your own territory. Where is she? Yeah, she can stay there. Um, game kept coming in for the PlayStation 2, cold set. I kept looking at it. It was, Silence. It was rarely in. Oh, they're usually casting creatures. And every time it came in, I wanted to try it, like I said. And then it disappeared every now and again. But finally it came back. And I was like, you know what, I really need to try this game. So I checked it out, and it was amazing. 
Aim for the castle. Can't put creatures down. So I'm going to make another blue territory. And his ability is nice because usually it's about 300 bucks to change a level 1 territory, but it's only 80 with that special fish. So I checked it out, we brought it home, and this game is pretty good at destroying friendships. Dev and my sister were pretty close, and then they played this game against each other, and I think they stopped talking for like a month. I don't even remember exactly. You've stopped in oh, enemy BC. territory. So 30-40. And I have to hit it with a 40 exact. No, it was turns 40 or up. So even if I were to try to attack it, oh, I couldn't summon a creature anyways. Um, it would take 40 to kill, 40 or more. I can't even hit him. So that's a done deal right there. Take your money. And then this one's Cold Step Saga for the Xbox 360, of course. Everything I have right now is Xbox 360 or Xbox One that I can play. Hey, I can summon things again. Discard a card. Get off my blues. Good luck. You've stopped in enemy territory. Attack of 40, huh? So now he can penetrate. Not that it really matters. I don't remember what her armor does or if she even has it. I haven't been watching the cards, unfortunately. Let's do it. Let's throw that beast in. Very expensive, required a sacrifice. Hopefully she doesn't have any armors. Destroy the Aqua Hey look, an armor! Ah. <laughs> and that's what I get. Well hey, I didn't lose my card. I didn't spend a lot of money and a card though. Since he goes back to my hand, he's still full life. She missed round. my jellies. It's your turn. I had a small time limit just in case. So when Dem played this game, she always used Kelpie. Stops all passing scepters, which are the players, other than the user when placed on a blue land. <clears throat> so our goal is to pump up the land all the way to max, which is 5. Put Kelpie on it, which only has 30 hit points, plus 50 if you have a maxed out land. So 80 hit points defense, and then of course you have armors and stuff to try to help. The only thing Kelpie can't use is scrolls, but you can still use items, weapons, and ar armors. And yeah. And she just stops them. And it's not even a, her ability is not even a spell, so you can cast Greed on Kelpie if you wanted to. And Greed sp um, makes whoever lands on it spend an additional 1.5 times more whatever the value of that land was. Pretty nice. You so as an example, this here, even though it's too late, she's already passed it and time is up, that would be a perfect place for a Kelpie. So this book that I made is basically based off of Dem's awesome deck because of the Kelpie. The curtain has fallen. Praise be to all sectors. And that's game. So I won. Here's the... She was winning for a little bit, and then she landed on something of mine, and then it got close, and then we just kind of... in our different directions. Ooh, a new card. Like I said, I don't have them all. So this guy here... You have to have somebody on green, 90 gold, put him down, 50, 60, which is pretty awesome. In battle, he loses 20 hit points if the territory you're fighting on has an effect upon it. 
And that can even be something that helps you out. As long as it's on it, you lose 20 hit points. Yep. And there are tons of cards. Tons of them. And that was Cold Sep Saga. If you liked the video, please press the like button. If you want to see what's coming up in the future, please subscribe with us. And if you have any comments or suggestions, um, put them in the comments box. Bye!